This is a tutorial on how to make a simple gear wheel in uh, Illustrator from scratch. So first, we'll uh, delete these and then we'll uh, select the star tool. We'll just uh, click on the canvas and we'll get the option here. Uh, so radius one, 25 pixels, uh, radius two, 50 pixels. So that's actually pretty good. So radius one, obviously you want that smaller. So in this case, it's half the size of radius two which is uh, perfect for what we're doing. Uh, as far as the points go, uh, we are going to uh, select uh, eight, eight points. And uh, let's uh, just give, give it an outline. And I'll show you why in this case that we chose eight. Uh, if you look at this, uh, all four sides um, are the same uh, right now. And if you look at uh, the width, the width is the same as the height. So if we, uh, I have made some examples here. So, so eight points, obviously that works. Another one you can do is 12 points and, uh, and 16 points. And you can keep uh, going up like that. So the reason for that, obviously, like I just mentioned, is that uh, you need all four sides to be the same you need the height and width to be the same. So if you look over here, we got uh, 13, I just did, did an example with 13 points. And if I select that, you'll see that the width is different than the height. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, it will become off center uh, when we, with the other elements that we're gonna create later. It needs to be the same width as the height, just like this. So now we'll create a, a circle that for the outer edge of the teeth, the gear wheel teeth. So we'll select the ellipse tool and we'll create a, I'm holding shift down to create a uniform circle. So we'll do the outside of those gear wheel teeth uh, at this point. And uh, that's probably good. I'll make it a little bigger. And then we'll duplicate that to make the inner edge of those uh, gear wheel teeth. And then we'll uh, use the align tool here to, uh, to center this. So we'll select the star. We'll start with the inner, the inner here. So we're gonna merge these, uh, merge these two. We'll use the pathfinder and we'll use the unite. So we'll click that. I see it's united, it's, uh, it's merged. Then we need to, um, to cut off the, the tips here. So to do that, we'll just uh, select all of it. We'll use the Pathfinder again, and we'll use uh, Divide. So I'll click that. Now I'm gonna ungroup this because this has all become one, one group now. If I just select that, it's, it's just one, one group. So I gotta ungroup that. So on Mac, I can use the Shift Command G to do that, or I can just uh, right click and ungroup is uh, an option right there. So I'll do that. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll hold shift down. And now I can, I unselected the, the inside element here. So if I just pull that out, uh, that's uh, all the elements I don't want right now. So I'll just, uh, just delete those. So now we got the basic shape of, of a gear wheel, but we also want uh, this to be hollow. So I'll create another circle like that. And uh, I'll center that again with using the line tool, uh, horizontally and vertical. And now you'll see that we have an actual gear, gear wheel here. So I'll just uh, make it a little smaller like that. We're gonna cut out the middle. So again, we're gonna ungroup. I'll uh, Unselect the the side the, the the part that we want to keep here, and then I'll delete the inner side of that. So here we go. Now we got a gear wheel. Change the outline to a fill here, so we'll just have a solid fill. I'm going to duplicate this one. So obviously we don't want these to meet up like this. We don't we want uh, uh, one of the gear wheel teeth to be in the right in the mil middle here. So what can we do to, to accomplish that without uh, 
just uh, eyeballing it. Now we're going to duplicate this uh, gear wheel and we're going to turn it a little bit. Um, and we don't want to eyeball it, we want this to be uh, very accurate. So how do we do that? Well, we can uh, double click on the rotate tool. So you get a dialog box with uh, degrees here of an angle that you can do. So we know that obviously a full circle is to 360 degrees. We have eight teeth on this one. In this case, how do we get the in-between points here? Well, we got eight teeth. So if we time that by two, we got 16, which we get to step in between. So let's do 16. I'll do copy. And there we go, right in between. You can see the difference there. Now I can put it close and we get gear wheel teeth like that. And if we want to select both of them, we can turn them 45 degrees. So I had demonstrated eight points, but uh, this is how it would look like if I had chosen 12 points. And uh, also on the, on the right side here, you see what it would look like in 16 points. Now, what's another way to do this? Well, you can start with a um, rectangle. And in this case, let's do 12 points, like it says here. So what do I do? We, you go over to the, the rotate tool again. You double click that. So we got, uh, again, 360 degrees. You divide that by 12 and you click uh, copy. Now you click uh, to duplicate that. You click uh, Apple or, com or command D or uh, on, a, on a PC, you will be a control D and you just uh, keep doing that to get a full, full circle here. And then you just create a circle in, in the middle. If I let you see that it's just a circle in the middle. So you get a simple, very simple gear wheel. And then you add another circle in the middle here, a white, um, white circle to, to hollow it out. And another step you can do, this is all merged now. You can, uh, you can soften the angles here. You can make the, the corners uh, curved. So in uh, doing that, I'll, I'll show the step here. If we take, I don't want to merge that yet, but uh, let's see, I'll merge the, all the black parts here. And I'll, well, I'll, I'll show you why. Like, I'll uh, also divide off the the center here. So again, we'll do um, ungroup, and we'll delete the center to select all of it. And you unselect these points here in the in the middle. Otherwise, you won't be able to, uh, to round these corners. So now you can, you can just drag here. Let's say that's, well, let's do about three. Three looks good. So there we go. So now we get another gear wheel created with a different method. Thank you for watching.